Take a look at these images from a drone flyover looking down at East Linden today. You can see roads and bridges are washed out there and some communities there are still recovering from the damage caused by flooding on July 10th. We have team coverage tonight with our reporters in Lindenville and St. J plus our team of meteorologists. But first, let's begin with NBC 5's John Hawks, who's in Lindenville tonight. John, what are you seeing there? Yeah, Jack, that's right. I'm out here at the corner of Severance Hill Road and uh, Red Village Road in Linden. And as you can see, a lot of the water has taken over uh, the roads and has moved structures like the tiny home and the double wide mobile home that you see behind me. Serious destruction in the Northeast Kingdom. Cars submerged and moved. Houses stripped from their foundations after more than eight inches of rain in a six hour period. Our bridge, like, it, in, it collapsed, but it's still, like, connected, and the road's just getting eaten and eaten away. Plant and her family journeyed out of their home on foot because much of Red Village Road is either washed out completely or impassable. We all put on our shoes, and we started walking. We crossed a bridge we probably weren't supposed to, um, and then we just kept walking. We went through neighbors' yards and all that stuff, and we had to go through some mud where I lost my shoes. And then we found out about the houses over there that are now gone. Ten Switchwater rescue crews from around the region, along with fire departments, out starting at at least 2 a.m. Tuesday morning because of the deluge of rain, carrying out rescues and evacuations. Even beyond the, the bridges that are out, there are large sections, um, like hundreds of yards of roads that are completely gone uh, that we have to try to navigate. And um, there are, have been some homes that have been lost, so we're just trying to search. Those areas, we've got specialized uh, search canines for looking through rubble. Cannon and his teams have been working hard to reach those inaccessible by normal vehicles because the reconnection process could take a while. From looking at some of the damage, it's going to be days before some of these systems might be back in place, both uh, power, water, and the road systems. Officials say that if you need help, dial 911 and crews can respond. The Lindenville Fire Department will serve as an emergency shelter. For now, in Lindenville, John Hawks, NBC5 News.